Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Joe Flash and we're back with more Spider-Man movie video game for the Nintendo GameCube Green Goblin mode. We are about to get into level 9, Vulture Escapes. In the last video, we got through level 8, Vulture's Lair, which was relatively easy and quick. And now, we're about to get into level 9, where as Green Goblin Harry Osborn, we're about to see the Vulture for the first time physically, and we have to chase him around the city of New York. So here we go. You can repair things that Vulture has damaged by webbing them up. However, since we're not Spider-Man, what we have to do is we have to use our Razor Bats to do so. We just press Z, and they'll just go up to the objects and repair them for us. Hey, Vulture! Didn't your mother ever teach you that stealing is Yep, wrong? so we gotta chase Vulture. So there's Vulture, so we gotta chase him. Now, we can't really get too low after him, because if we get too low, he'll try to use weapons to stop us when we're trying to catch up to him, so... We gotta stay up here. I mean, he can throw weapons up higher as well, but if we get too low to him, he's gonna hit us and, you know, he'll try to slow us down. I believe this is where we have to repair the first thing he's damaged. Yep. What's it going to be, do gooder? A few jewels or innocent lives? No. So, like I said, with Green Goblin, the repairing these damaged buildings and stuff is done different compared to Spider Man, because with Spider Man, we would obviously have to web them up. But, however,. If you look here, if you go to the Green Goblin's controls, here, the Razor Bats T tell you what they can do. The Razor Bats can attack and repair structures. And with the Razor Bats, we have to activate them with Z. So just press the Z button and they'll activate. So at least it's a good thing it tells you that they can repair stuff. Because if, the, if they didn't tell you that the Razor Bats can repair structures and stuff... This would have took me forever to figure out how to save it. Because, you know, the first time I played through with Green Goblin... I didn't realize that it was saying Z because I wasn't familiar that it was purple. For some reason, I wasn't paying attention, and I was thinking it was Y or X because it's hard to see the Z, Z, the letter Z on that button when it's next to Razor Bat. I thought it was an X, and I was trying everything to press a button to see if I could get it to repair, and I was like, how do you repair it? And because I couldn't figure it out, I actually lost the first time. But then once I figured it out, I was like, oh, it's Z, and then I pressed it, and yep, it worked. So... I really was not paying attention to the colored button as well, but thankfully I understand it now. So, like I said, it's really good that they do tell you that the Razor Bats can repair structures, because if they didn't tell you this, this would have took me forever to figure this out on any level, because this won't be the only level we would have to repair some stuff to save innocent people anyway. So, anyway, let's go ahead and just continue on and press the Z button to bring our... Yep, there you go. And Green Goblin Harry Osborn himself will even tell you that he can use his Razor Bats to repair some structures. So, listen to Harry Osborn when he tells you that, because he tells you as well that he can use his Razor Bats to repair stuff. And if you remember what the Razor Bat move is, you'll be able to use it yourself. So, it's best to listen to Harry. So, there we go. And as you can see, when it when you look at it, it doesn't even look like webbing because that's not technically webbing that the Razor Bats are using anyway. So it's pretty cool that they changed it up where it's not webbing, it's something else that they used. And you can see some of the dialogue the Vulture says is a bit different compared to when he talks to us as Spider-Man. So some of the dialogue changed a little bit because we're not Spider-Man, obviously. But we got everything taken care of. Honestly, in some ways, using our Razor Bats to repair the structure is actually a little bit easier than our webbing because, you know, we don't use... Because we don't use so much of our uh, of our blue bar when we use the razor bats, so it kind of actually helps us out a little bit in saving us from using a lot of the, the blue bar. You know what I'm saying? So using the razor bats is kind of just easier because you just press one button and that's it. I mean, you have to press one button with Spider-Man's webbing, but you know you have to hold it down until it's fully structured with the razor bats. It'll just fin do the job for you, which is easier in a way. Now, yeah, you saw it glitched a little bit there. I don't know why. For some reason, when you get around a certain corner, like when you hear Green Goblin or Spider-Man sneeze and say, I should have waterproofed my costume, for some reason, there's a glitch that goes on where they just disappear for a little while and they're invisible. I'm like, what is going on there? It's actually happened another times when I was playing this on my old Wii system, as well as my older stuff when I used to play these games on. I never really was able to figure that out. I don't know why it glitches like that, but nothing less, at least we're still in the game, you know? So for a moment you saw an invisible goblin glider, which was kind of funny, but it didn't mean we were going to glitch out of the game, which thankfully that didn't mean that. But 
yeah, that was pretty easy, as you saw. We just took care of everything pretty well, didn't we? So that concludes it for level uh, nine, Vulture Escapes. That's all we had to do, chase after the Vulture, as well as repair some of the structures he was going to try to take down to stop us, as well as save innocent lives, and prove that we're the good Green Goblin once again with Harry Osborn. And now that that's taken care of, we're going to conclude it right here. And when we get back in the next video, we will get into level 10, where we will do Air Duel with Vulture, where we fight Vulture physically ourselves. So stay tuned for the next video, ladies and gentlemen, and we'll get into that level next. But until then, I'm out of here. So I hope you have a good one once again. Peace out. That'll be it for today, guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Dislike to give it a thumbs down. Join me next time in the next video. To all you boys, men, and gals out there, boom, fist bumps got all of you. And to all the girls, ladies, and, ladies and women out there, mwah, kiss got to all of you. But until then, this is Joe Flash signing off, and have a good day.